Hello. Hello, hello. So I um, was just putting Valor on and getting ready. You know, I need some um, confidence oil. So here it goes. Valor is going on so I can be confident, talk about it and sound like I know what I'm talking about, right? Mm, smells amazing. Okay, so because Young Living is so, so, so amazing, they are giving us a V6 oil and, oh man, I forgot to bring it down. Um, so what is it? A lot of people don't even know what it is or what you're supposed to do with it and why should you even be excited about it? Because it's so, so amazing. But if you don't know what to do with it, then it's just, well, you know, it just sits there. So let's start from the very beginning. What is carrier oil? So carrier oil is any kind of fatty oil, right? Carrier, uh, so any fatty oils, when I say fatty oils, I mean coconut oil or olive oil, grapeseed oil, any of those oils. Their molecule, molecules are bigger than essential oil molecules. So what it does when you mix those two together, it helps for essential oil to absorb into your body. Okay. Um, it helps, it, it carry, basically the carrier oil carries the essential oils through your skin into your body. That's an easy way to remember. Also, if you have a large area that you want, um, let's say you want to give a massage or you want to, you know, you want to work out and your whole thighs are just on fire and burning and you want to put um, pan away, it's hard to spread, essential, to spread essential oil all over your legs. But if you mix it with the carrier oil, with the fatty oil, you, you can uh, cover the larger area of your body, okay? Um, so now all these uh, carrier oils have a job to do, just like essential oils. I know a lot of us think about carrier oil just as something you put into the roller bottle or use, um, use into your uh, massage oils, but it, they actually have a purpose. And it depends uh, on your... Um, on your skin type, what kind of oil is best for you. But I'm gonna go through each carrier oil a little bit later to so you can pick and choose what's best for you. So one of the other things that I like to have carry on in handy for is if you have, if you're very sensitive to oils or you don't know what hot oils are, uh, which I think I have posted a link or maybe I made an image with the names of all the hot oils. So if you don't know what it is, just Google this group and it will come up. So let's say you put an oil on your skin or on your child's skin, uh, an essential oil, and if it feels a little warm or if you feel like you're getting a little bit of irritation or redness, all you need to do is put a carrier oil on top of it, which is V6 or any kind of fatty oil, and just rub it and spread it all over your, your arm and it will go away. This is, some people are just more sensitive to essential oils than others. The other thing, just for some reason, if you don't have... Um, carrier oil and you're sensitive to oils and you feel like it's you know maybe peppermint is burning the back of your neck you can always use milk which i know it sounds strange but milk not the fat-free watery milk but the you know real fatty milk it really helps with it as well just a little tip the reason i know it because i had to do it one time um or um, yogurt would work as well or sour cream any any kind of uh you know something like that so let's see um, and if, yeah, so if you are new to essential oils and you're just so confused with everything that I'm saying, uh, what is hot oils, what is not hot oils, a good rule to remember is just use all your essential oils with the carrier oil until you figure out what's what and you cannot go wrong with it. You're not gonna, um, the only thing carrier oil does, it dilutes essential oil. It's not gonna take it, um, take it away from it being effective or from it giving you the outcome that you want. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's start with the V6. Um, the name itself, it tells you that there are six different carrier oils in one bottle, which is great. But what if you want to buy separate oils, carrier oils by itself? So the... Is, Nika, come here. That's my puppy. She saw something outside. Come over here, girl. Come here. Come here. Here she comes. Come here. No, don't bark. Let's not bark, okay? Um, so, the with essential oils, 
they if you store them proper properly in the dark place away from the heat and sunshine they can last you for years and years and if the bottle is closed and have had not been opened yet it might last for centuries which is huge right now when you go to to um, carrier oil carrier oils usually expire within I would say three to nine months it depends on what kind of carrier oil you have or what brand it is um, it could last a little longer if you keep it in the in the fridge oh hello there um, <laughs> you can stop. Uh, okay she's she's getting me out of my you know I can't stay on one thought if she's jumping all over the place okay so anyway anyway if um, either you use v6 carrier oil uh, or you will go with something else that you bought yourself make sure that carrier oil is 100% pure that it's organic that it's raw that is undefined and it's cold processed okay because you don't want to mix carrier oil that has toxins or chemicals in it with the uh, the best essential oil because then you just put in more chemicals and toxins into your body so you want to avoid that so let's go into v6 break it down a little bit what is in it and how it works v6 by itself you can it doesn't matter what you use on your body it leaves your sing, uh, skin very silk uh, silky and smooth it's very gentle I would say it's a good word for it now v6 is nourishing to all skins and it is full of antioxidants it also contain, contains um, edible vegetable oils and can be used for cooking or for salad dressings as well which I bet a lot of you didn't know because we think oh we use it on our body so I don't know why would I eat it but that's how pure and um, good such a good quality uh, carrier oils all in one bottle that you can actually ingest it as well okay so one of the oils in the V6 is coconut oil I'm gonna talk about that first because I think it's the most popular oil and most people know or heard the name of it right so coconut oil in V6 is fractionated oil now fractionated oil is what it means it has it has been a little bit processed because if you know the regular co coconut oil when it gets cold like it is today it gets hard so you cannot have a hard carrier oil in a bottle because then it just wouldn't come out of the bottle so they have to change the the, the chemically things whatever that they do to it to make it runny which is called fractionated coconut oil right um, it's very good for removing the makeup it's extremely good for dry skin however because the molecules of coconut oil are so large if you use it on your face it might just it kind of just sits on your skin it doesn't always absorb and because of that it might clog your pores a little bit however it doesn't have odor it doesn't have color and it easily washes out of fabrics which is a big deal for me because I a couple of things that I make for my daughter to clean her face with uh, at night time in the morning it just gets everywhere I mean she's a child you know it gets on her fingers and it gets on her nightgown and everywhere so I, I I like using it for her okay next one is my favorite one if to use it by itself is grapeseed oil it's because it's balancing it's toning it's great for um, smoothing the skin and for skin with um, blemish prone skin it is great and uh, it's also considered an antioxidant when I make face serums this is one of the oils that I like to use uh, next one in V6 uh, we have sesame oil now this one is not really popular as a oil to use on your skin but it's great for moisturizing and it has a lot of soothing qualities it is great for if you're making some kind of DIYs for your hair uh, or for your skin um, especially I like it for your hair it's really it absorbs well and it does what it's supposed to do it may it may strengthen and detoxify the body and ensure the proper functioning of the vital organs so as you see each of these carrier oils have something to do for our body they're just not there um, uh, as a friend to essential oil okay next one we have sweet almond oil that one is high in vitamin D and it's very soothing for the skin 
that's why, as you see, there are all, every single one of those, these carry oils in B6 are good for your skin. Notice that. That's why it feels so good when you uh, either you make it a roller or you do something, you know, a face serum. Let's see. Next one, I have wheat germ oil. Again, it's rich in vitamin B and E, I believe, right? Yes. And it's also an antioxidant and has been known to prove, uh, to soothe skin and improve elasticity so if you make making body whole body lotions um, or body butters that's another one good good for you uh, let's see what, what else do you have let me see sunflower seed oil I haven't talked about that yet this one contains natural vitamin E and it helps with skin imperfections and it also again is antioxidant and I think the last one is what is on the grape oil. Uh, grape oil is great skin moisturizer and again antioxidant. So as you see, these I think I went through all six of them, right? Um, as you see, all of them have um, all of these oils are in one bottle. That's why I prefer to just use V6 versus buying one bottle at a time because I wouldn't use all these bottles uh, before they go bad and I end up. Uh, throwing them out right so you can however that being said there are two oils uh, carry oils that I buy by itself because I really like it when I make face serum um, that when you go in the bath when the steam goes up either in the bath or in the shower when the steam go, when it's steamy your pores open up and if you put face serum on and just let it sit for a little bit and then wipe it off your skin it gives you that glowing very soft um, feel to your skin so uh, there are two of them that I buy is uh, raspberry seed oil and rosehip oil both of them are excellent for face serums and it's great for more mature skin I should say um, now since I'm talking about all that I'll tell you my DIY, DIY that I make I have those little I don't have it in here either I would show you uh, it's a little glass bottle I think uh, I don't know about like this big that I buy on Amazon and that's what I do I put raspberry seed oil rosehip oil and several uh, probably about I think I put two teaspoons of each carrier oil and six to eight different um, essential oils that I want for that time and it's it's runnier so it's very easy to spread and it's very easy to wash up um, afterwards so you can try that and when it comes to um, essential oils you can use any kind of essential oil that is good for your skin copaiba frankincense carrot lavender you really you can play around with it to see what you like best if you have troubled skin you can try um, tea tree oil as well and now I have I have this big book <laughs> You see, th these are my personal recipes, and there are a lot of carry oils that I didn't cover in here, but I'm going to read them from my book, so, because it's a lot of them, I don't want to miss anything, okay? So, let's start with dry skin. Sunflower seed oil, olive oil, again, good quality olive oil, not just the first thing you see at the grocery store, because that makes a big, big difference. Aloe vera gel, cocoa butter, lavender essential oil, geranium. Oh, these are essential oils. Then sensitive skin for carrier oil is sunflower oil, avocado oil, really good one, and cocoa butter again. And for sensitive skin, if you haven't tried, try the um, chamomile essential oil. Roman or, um, what is the other one? Or German, either one, both. I don't think we don't have, one of them we don't have in stock right now. Then if you have, um, how do you call this, troubled skin. For carrier oil, you can try shea butter, evening primrose oil. That's another one that I get it sometimes and use it for my face serum that I just gave you a recipe for. And hemp oil. Um, hemp oil is also really good if you try, if your hair or scalp needs a little bit of help with either hair thickness or it just it's really dry and, and itchy. Um, hemp oil is very, very good for it. Let's see, next one, mature skin, um, such as, I'm getting close to 40. <laughs> I can't believe I just told you my age, but here it is. Um, okay, mature skin, shea butter, rosehip seed oil, cranberry seed oil, olive oil, and raspberry seed oil. 
if you have a skin that is, um, how would I call it, irritated or for whatever reason, shea butter and raspberry seed oil are really good, uh, both carrier oils. And the one that I don't think I covered yet and from the top of my head is jojoba oil, which is spelled J-O-J-O-B-A. Some people say yojoba oil because we just don't know how to pronounce it. Um, that oil is very thick and it works more like, um, it, it feels more like waxy. It's great, so no, usually people don't use that carrier oil by itself, but mix it with other oils so when making something for face. Um, the one thing with that to remember is it helps with the hair growth. So if you use it as a face, face serum and you go wax your face, because you have, um, you know, you, you don't have, you have unwanted hair on your face. This might not be a good oil for you, because it encourages hair to grow faster and and more. Okay, if you try V6 uh, this month and you absolutely love it, which I don't see how you wouldn't. Uh, they have a refill on um, on Young Living's web website. Just go in and say refill V6, and it will come right up. You buy a big bottle and you can just refill the. The, you know the one that you're gonna get this month and it just it's cheaper and I like cheaper I like to save money so there are a lot of um, there is this book called French aromatherapy essential oils recipe and usage guide by Jen O Sullivan uh, maybe I'll post the name in there so you can look it up I love this book there's a lot about carrier oils there are tons and tons and tons of recipes and very easy to use and these uh, she uses I believe most just all the recipes, I believe, are for um, Young Living Essential Oil, so it makes it easy for you to learn what's what. Actually, now that I think about it, how about we do a giveaway to see uh, who actually watches videos to the end? How about um, comment when you watch the video to the end? Comment, say something, I love V6, or I love whatever other carrier oil that you use if you haven't tried V6, or I can't wait to get my V6, something like that. And then I'll just pick a random winner um, by, let's see, let's give it a week. What's today? Six. I'll pick a winner by February 13th, by, let's say, 9 p.m., because I don't think I can stay up later than that. But 9 p.m. Central Time, in uh, which I'm in Texas. And I'll just pick a random winner, and I'll send it to you so you can look it up. There are also recipes for cooking and um, it, it just it, there's a lot of information in one book it's a must-have in every household in my opinion so I hope that was helpful and I'll go through the comments and I see if you uh, you know if you have any more questions and okay have a wonderful day bye bye